Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, glorious warriors. Chris Wood here from Rising Phoenix Mental Health Channel. This is episode seven or eight, I'd have to check, but at any rate, training for the 70.3 Victoria BC Half Ironman coming up May 28th. And I'm doing this for nonprofit organizations who support first responders, military and veterans who have PTSD. So let me get into it here. I'm doing a 30 minute training session today and then I'm gonna be doing some stretching. It's actually not a bad workout, just doing some high interval training to get my muscles a little bit more stronger as I continue on through my journey. I think that maybe I'll just do videos maybe once every other week, particularly over Christmas season. Holiday season is not the fondest time for me. What's really good about it though is that Wendy actually has her grandkids here and her daughter-in-law. We're actually gonna have another son coming here next week and another son coming after Christmas break. So we're gonna have a full house, which is good because that helps me particularly when they're kids, be around kids. So I'm just a big kid myself. feeling pretty good. I'm doing my intermittent fasting, basically just 16 and eight, eight hours of eating, 16 hours of fasting, pretty straightforward, easy to do, I think, because, you know, I go to bed between 10 and midnight. I make sure I get at least eight hours of sleep. And then I don't, usually I'm up between nine and 10 and I don't eat till noon. So it's not that bad as fasting goes. I am really working on drinking enough water. I know that in training, you do dehydrate more. And if I'm already starting in a hydrated state, it's not good because your muscles need that water in order to deal with the recovery afterwards. So I did a little bit of research as to how I'm able to cope with things over the holidays. And I found four good tips that you can use to stress yourself over the holidays. So the first tip is you want to be able to acknowledge your feelings. If you've had a death in the family, if you just broke up from a relationship, if your dog died recently, it's really important to feel that and work through your feelings of grief or whatever else you're going through at the time, because you know what? It is okay to not be okay over the Christmas holidays. To be honest with you, just because it's the holiday season doesn't mean that you have to be happy all the time. I would put that on myself and be hard on myself that I need to put on that, you know, that happy face mask. And you know what? I don't have to do that and neither do you. Perhaps you want to tell your family or friends what's going on if they don't know so that they don't think that there's something desperately wrong with you, but that is your call. And the second tip that works really well, and that's reaching out to others, getting in contact with your friends, going for a coffee with a friend that you haven't seen in a while, being part of a community, getting involved in a community, whatever that might be. I have a few different tribes of my warrior friends that I will reach out to and see how they're doing and vice versa. And you know what? Volunteering is huge. I have had the opportunity to do a little bit of volunteering. And let me tell you, it really makes me feel so much better, particularly when I'm having a shitty day, that I know that I have done something for somebody else that is going through something maybe a lot worse than me. The third tip is be realistic. It doesn't have to be perfect. Christmas does not have to be perfect. 
it could very well change from year to year. You know, you may not have all the family members come one year. You may only have a couple. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not a good thing. You know, people come and go. You may not be able to do those traditions or rituals that you may have done when you were a kid and you want to do them every year with your family or whatever the case may be. Rituals and traditions can change too, and that is okay. The fourth thing that I would say would be helpful during the holidays is set aside your differences. If you have any grievances or whatnot with a family member or a friend, you know what? This isn't the time of year to be bringing that shit up. Leave it for another time when it's more appropriate. That way everybody can enjoy the holidays without having to worry about, uh-oh, Try to accept people for who they are. It makes life so much easier. I know it's hard to do that, but it truly does. Putting yourself in the other person's shoes. A little bit of empathy goes a long way. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are on this beautiful planet of ours. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.